Duluth firefighters are still on the scene here at the Aras Israel Synagogue. The fire broke out around 2.30 this morning, but right now most of the efforts are going into trying to stabilize what's left of the structure so that investigators can get in and take a closer look, look for more clues so they can try to figure out what caused this fire. Right now, no foul play suspected, but it's very early in the investigation. We're told one firefighter was injured responding to this blaze, but was treated for injuries and released, so it looks like he's going to be okay. One of the bright spots is that they did rescue eight Torahs from this building. Others were destroyed. We had four, three, four Torahs from Superior that eventually I brought over here, and one was our family's Torah, and that was upstairs, and I think that got burned up, unless they brought it down. And that, my one sister called me this morning when she heard about it, and she's devastated too about it. For our preliminary investigation, we have not found any signs of accelerants uh, being used. But like I said, we're trying to shore up the building still, and there will be some uh, further investigation into the evening. Many of us here today represent our grandparents and even our great-grandparents who built this synagogue. Special thanks to the Duluth Fire Department and Police Department for the heroic efforts in trying to save our synagogue. It's no exaggeration to say grandparents and great-grandparents were involved in this synagogue. It was established in the 1890s, five or six generations ago for some families, and it's very near and dear to the hearts of the Jewish community here in Duluth. John Perlman, CARE 11 News.